TCC shuttle with Cummins diesels is still a very common complaint on the tech line. There are many causes for this complaint, and Wayne is in the garage, and he's ready to go over some of the things to look for that can cause this complaint. Wayne? Torque converter clutch shuttle with the 47RE transmission behind Cummins diesels continues to be a problem. This is attributed to the fact that there are many reasons which causes this malfunction. In a previous seminar, we mentioned a reflash procedure Daimler Chrysler issued to correct this condition. This reflash was to compensate for alternator and or TPS noise. It was then discovered that there were software conflicts with flashing earlier PCMs causing the need to purchase a new PCM after a reflash was performed. That problem has since tapered down due to the time passed along with PCM and software updates that have occurred. Now we have 1998 and later 24 valve diesels that introduces a whole new challenge. Instead of having a typical throttle position sensor, they have what is called an accelerator pedal position switch, APPS. This is a very expensive item. It lifts at the time of filming for $409 and wholesales to you for $300 plus. So this is not a sensor you want to change on a chance. This is a six-wire sensor, pre-adjusted and mounted on a bracket behind this plastic cover, as you can see here, and in figures two through four in your seminar handout material. After the cover has been removed, you then need to remove these six 10-millimeter head bolts. With the bolts removed, you can then gain access to the APPS. The APPS is secured to the mounting plate as an assembly. Loosening these screws would lose that factory adjustment and could be a problem for you. So it is recommended to not chance it here. The pinout identification of this six terminal sensor is provided for you in figure five. As you can see in figure five, terminal three of the APPS provides the familiar throttle signal of 0.46 volts at idle to a 3.56 volts at wide open throttle. This signal is sent to a computer called the ECM at terminal 25, as you can see in figure six. This ECM is located in a very difficult place to work on. It is here behind the fuel filter. With a scanner viewing engine controls, the voltage signal from the APPS to the ECM is presented in percentage as well as the two idle switches that are in the APPS. The ECM then sends this voltage signal to the PCM from Terminal 28. The PCM receives this signal in the black C1 connector on Terminal 23. This voltage signal from the ECM to the PCM can be viewed in the scanner under transmission data. So the situation goes like this. The APPS sends a signal to the ECM, and the ECM sends a signal to the PCM. So if the ECM sends an erratic signal to the PCM, then the PCM will cause a TCC to shuttle. So, and I'm not the Abbott and Costello of transmissions, but that is exactly what could happen here. So the first step is to check the APPS signal going to the ECM from the Terminal 3 wire at the APPS. Then you can check the signal at the PCM to see if the ECM is sending an erratic signal or not. If it is, you can bypass the ECM by piggybacking a wire off of the signal wire from Terminal 3 at the APPS. Run this wire to the PCM C1 connector. Cut the wire in Terminal 23 and connect the PCM to this newly run wire from the APPS. If this cures the problem, the preferred repair would be to replace the ECM. One other point, brake switch brackets are known to weaken. 
This causes an erratic brake switch signal to be sent to the computer. This also results in a torque converter clutch shuttle. So as you can see, there are many possibilities as to the cause of TCC shuttle, and you have most of them now in your seminar handout material.